it's Vlogmas Day 6! <laughs> Bread, and I am back with another video. I look tired. <laughs> they look tired. I don't know. Yes, I do. You gonna say no? Anyway, y'all, the boys are not here, but y'all do look so tired. I look so tired. But we promise y'all back-to-back content. So I'm making that happen for y'all. On Instagram, I asked a couple questions. What that is on the floor? I asked a couple questions. Right now. I had asked a couple questions on Instagram. No, I asked no questions. I told y'all asked me questions. It was like, uh, girl talk with Brit. And I ain't answered none of them on Instagram. So I guess I'm going to go through today or well, tonight and answer a couple of the questions for you guys. Since I never answered them. I have food in the oven. Cause your girl be hungry. Brandon said I eat too much. I don't think so. I don't think I eat enough. If you ask me. Crispy, crispy. Mm. Y'all, yeah, so my husband is putting up the question for you guys. He's pulling it up. He, he think my Instagram is his Instagram. But it's not. You see? It's a couple, it's like a good bit of questions. It's a, it's a really a good bit of questions. I'm gonna pick the ones that I just feel like best, like for a best conversation. So, your girl, back up. Woo! Your girl is back. Got my little snack on my food cook. Let me. All right, so let's see. Hmm. Which question am I going to start off right? I guess I have stuff in the bottom. It says, how do you keep your relationship afloat? Hmm. Me? Well, I'm going to tell you something. Everybody think. Everybody think me and Brandon is perfect. We're not. We are far from perfect. We. Hmm. Me and Brandon are far from perfect. We just don't. Like, y'all may see us. You see how we get into it on camera? It's like little petty, little, mm, like a little one two. That's how we are. Like, we don't never have no serious problems. So, uh. we don't have any serious arguments or anything like that. So, we like best friends. So, we talk about everything together. But, 
when, when we first got married, we always made this promise that, like, you know, not supposed to stay long, like, stay mad long because stuff happens too quick. So we try not to stay mad at each other. My no, nose so how we keep our relationship afloat is like if we have like some like if I have something on my chest about it, I may not speak on it right then and there. Like doing to the fact that I may be upset at the moment, but when I calm down, even if it's like a text message, and I just feel like in person, it just when I get to where I want to be or even when I hear me, I send them a text message. I say, well, babe, I didn't like how you did this, and I didn't like how you did that, but we talk about everything together. I guess nothing that you could tell me that you're not going to. Um, let's see. Mm-hmm. Why are you scared to get waxed? Because, I don't do all that. How, how do you deal with a toxic parent? Hmm. I, had a, I have a toxic parent. I do. Learning to deal with it was cold. Honestly. So it's like, it's hard to see how you deal with them because I can't say, oh, don't deal with them. You know, that's your parent. You always feel like, but that's my mom, that's my dad. Now that I'm older, I put in my like, I don't have to deal with that. Like, I don't have to deal with that. So like I, I keep my distance, like I don't suspect them in any type of way, but I keep my distance. Um, when I do get over whatever happened, I tell them the same thing. I didn't like how you did this, I don't like how you did that. Cause I feel like when you speak, like how you feel, it's like a a big weight off your shoulder. Like when, when it's like a bottle. Once it, uh, the pressure gets too high, it basically busts. So before you get overwhelmed and feel overwhelmed about stuff like that, it's just best to just speak how you feel. Like, and I wasn't always like this. I ain't always speak how I feel. I had to learn to get to that point. That's a crazy question. Hold up. Skincare and bath products you love. Hmm. I use Dove. I have sensitive skin, so I cannot use all that crazy stuff. Life before kids versus now. What would you change before versus now? What would you change before versus life now? I feel like my life, and I'm just telling you, I'm not saying it's because Brandon is right here. <laughs> I'm not saying that because Brandon is right here. Life now is just amazing. Like, before my children came about, I dealt with like a lot of hurt and stuff like that. I feel like my, my children made life so much better. Me and my husband made life so much better. I wouldn't change nothing. Cause I feel like you go through everything for a reason. If you didn't go through what you went through in the past or life wasn't how it was in the past, it's not gonna make, it, it couldn't make you who you are today. Everything in the past shaped you for the person that you are today. So I wouldn't change anything, honestly. I really wouldn't. I just wish I would've met him sooner. My husband, but I wouldn't change nothing. You've been new. I, I knew of you. <clears throat> I didn't know him. I knew of you. Relationship, having kids, experience, buying a home. Buying a home, it is a hard process. It really is. It was not easy. And nobody knows like our experience behind it because we never posted a blog on it. We never, what we gonna post on it? Y'all go get in the bed, I'm sorry. We never posted a blog on it, already talked about it. But it was a lot of tears behind our house. Like we did, we did a lot of crying before we actually got in our house. It, it was oh, a lot of tears. 
Let's go. 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 Let's go.
I get a lot of a lot of questions about business. And I'm just I just realized you need me to see your braid. Don't look at me. I got, I'm looking for your braid. I'm not even here. Well, give me some braid. Go get you some braid. It's right there. <laughs> Cause you ain't even fixed the braid I wanted. So? What you mean so? And then you had two big old pieces. You it was taking too long. You could have, well, you could have ate yours. It left my eyes in there. Why you put it in there? Cause you got that fish in there. I had it in there with the fish. You know what I'm saying? I have it stink. <laughs> crazy as hell. The aroma from it. What we were talking about though? Oh, business. Yo. I have my days, honestly. Like some days I'm all into it, I wanna do it. Some days I feel like this just not for me. I just don't wanna do it. So I can't really give people advice on a business when I'm still figuring things out myself. All I can really say is be consistent, provide, like you know, content. Like even if you don't feel like posting a day, find a Mimi or something that's business like with your colors or Something dealing with your business is supposed to keep your followers there to let them know that you're there and you're engaged. I'm very inconsistent. I'm very inconsistent. I don't know what this means. If you are, bring a S A H M. You're not even spelling it till I can understand. That's how they have it. S A H M. If you are what? If you are, bring a S A H M. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Yeah, we not really up on all the um, with the slang and stuff like that. <laughs> Was be insecure at first. I'm having the worst problems with my boyfriend. Was you insecure at first? This is girl talk. No, answer, I can't. I cannot answer for you. Do you feel like I was insecure? Yes. Okay then. So you talking to the girl? This girl. But I can't say. Oh yeah, he was insecure. Cause I feel you like. You said it. You said, "Do I feel like insecure?" I did. He still have his moments. I mean, it's, it's reason. It's fine. No, it's not. It's no, it's not. No, it's not. Not, not, I'm not, no, that came off bad. Not like that, but you know. I don't know. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Well. <laughs> Y'all have never cheated on my friend. I never, none no. of that. No, no. No, but you know you have to clear it up. Hmm. You know you have to clear that up. So why are you saying you don't know? Because I know for a fact I didn't cheat, so I know it's not that. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not that. I think. I think I know. Let me tell him. Oh. Okay. He don't want to tell y'all, but I think I know. I think I know. You know. I don't think you know. You know. Hmm. How you deal with boyfriends? Tell the truth too. I, I, I treated you like Royce since day one. How you deal with boyfriends? You talking about me? They talking about you? I haven't had that many boyfriends in my life. I'm not gonna say nothing, cause you know, that's the past. But, as in Brandon, I treated him like Royce since day one. But my, cause my mom is big on it. She's very big on like treating the man right. And you know, all that, like when I wasn't working, after I had BJ, she wanted me to have his clothes laid out, the room spotless. She wanted me to have dinner waiting on him. And I was like, how old I was? 18? 15? So she been really big on him. Some people will say, you don't treat a man like a husband until they become your husband. But you'll never get to be a wife. If you're not doing those wife to do this. You but know. you're not supposed to give a man all of you until they put that ring on your finger. You have to give them something to look forward to. Uh-huh. I think I've been had all of you. You did. But some people do feel that way. 
way. Because when I'm all in, I'm all in. If either I'm in, we give me some of I want to see. Want some ice, please? If either I'm in or I'm not in. If that makes sense. That makes sense? No, not really. I don't know. Is it because like I like if I if I like you, it either I'm gonna give you my all, love you with all my heart, treat you like put you up here, or if I don't like you, I'm gonna dog you out, I'm gonna talk to you stupid, and it's just gonna be a different break. So it's like I don't know how to be in between. So that's like a really hard question for me. I've been in brand. Oh. I've been in Brandon's skin since we met. It was to the point where he thought I was smothering him. What's up, what? You thought I was smothering you, was like, Brick! Am I lying? Man, talk you gonna to you gonna say yeah anyway. Cause, I, Cause you gonna say yeah anyway. I'm gonna tell y'all, he don't like to admit it. He don't like to admit it. He does not like to admit it. But y'all never. Yeah. I'm terrible thirsty. Never lose yourself. Be a boy, a man, man, whatever you want. I'm not talking about you. I know. But I'm saying behind a man, like never. Always love yourself. You can't love somebody until you love yourself. You can't care for somebody until you care for yourself. Somebody can't respect you until you respect yourself. You set the standard. You agree with that? I can agree with that. Yeah, you do. You if if you treat yourself like a you know what a guy don't treat you like a you know what because. It starts with you. If you want to be treated like this queen or on this high pedestal, you have to put yourself on that pedestal. You can't expect somebody to treat you like something you don't treat yourself. Because that's what you attract, if that makes sense. So a lot of the questions of our relationship. Me and Brandon still gets into it. Some days he get on my nerves. Some days he don't. Every day I love him so much. And some, some days you get on my nerves. I Sometimes I get on his nerves on purpose. Don't leave that out. I know I get on his nerves. That's 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 just not. Right. That's not a secret. But he loves me so much. I mean, no relationship is perfect. But we don't have major issues, y'all. We really don't. It's really, about stupid stuff. It's stupid stuff. I like the bread. The bread could have been a big issue. It could have been a big issue because he was really mad about that. I can tell y'all right now, he was really mad about the braid not being hard. But I didn't want the braid too hard because yesterday it was too hard. But the sauce made it soft. That's why he's supposed to make it hard. If it's soft hard, it's going to be soggy. And it was soggy, so I agree. But that's the stuff that we like, have a debate about. Or say if he get up and make breakfast and don't make me no cereal. Like if he makes cereal and he don't make me the cereal, I'm mad for the whole day. She I never let it go. <laughs> That's why I talk about it. Yeah, this actually happened like a week ago. Cereal. He got up and he made himself some cereal when I was in the bed. And he had the nerve to come get back in the bed eating his cereal. He didn't make me no cereal. He ain't make me no cereal, y'all. And I was really mad. And I offered to make a cereal and he said, no, I'm gonna get up and Because you already finished your cereal. I offered to make you cereal. But you already it was it was too late then. I shouldn't have to tell you to make me some cereal because if Rick get out the bed stop and make cereal, on. I don't care if he sleep. He could be snoring. I'm gonna make him some cereal. Bay, he go breakfast, uh, he go bed, eat. Even if I cook and he's sleeping, I wake him up, I say, huh, baby, here you go, you fool. He gonna say, oh, baby, I'm gonna get it, put it on the counter, put it in the microwave. I just know I did my part and made sure he had food. 
So yes, y'all, I was very, very, very bitter about that. Very bitter. But, y'all, that's really like all the questions I had so far. If y'all have any more questions, y'all comment down below. Or you can DM me on Instagram. My Instagram link is in the description. I'm open to answering. I'm a very open person, so any questions y'all have and I feel comfortable with it, I have no problem answering. But make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below because Brit is out. Peace.